An Iranian scientist long suspected by the West of masterminding a secret nuclear bomb program was killed in an ambush near Tehran Friday, an incident that could potentially provoke a confrontation between Iran and its foes during the final weeks of Donald Trump's presidency. Iran blamed U.S. ally Israel for the assassination of Mohsen Fadi Sadeh, with the implication that the killing would have the blessing of Trump, and vowed to retaliate. Fadi Sadeh died of injuries in the hospital after armed assassins fired on his car, Iranian state media reported. There was no immediate claim of responsibility for the attack. The Pentagon, State Department, CIA, and the White House all declined to comment, although Trump retweeted reports of his death. U.S. President-elect Joe Biden's team also declined to comment. Fadi Sadeh has been described by Western and Israeli intelligence services for years as the leader of a covert atomic bomb program halted in 2003, which Israel and the U.S. accused Tehran of trying to restore in secret. Iran has long denied seeking to weaponize nuclear energy. Fadi Sadeh was a central figure in a presentation by Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in 2018, accusing Iran of continuing to seek nuclear weapons. This is how Dr. Mohsen Fahri Zadeh, head of Project Ahmad, put it. Remember that name, Fahri Zadeh. This work is carried out by Sapant. That's an organization inside Iran's defense ministry. And you will not be surprised to hear that Sapand is led by the same person who led Project Ahmad, Dr. Fahri Zadeh. Last January, a U.S. drone strike in Iraq killed Qasem Soleimani, Iran's most powerful military commander. Iran retaliated for that attack by firing missiles at a U.S. base in Iraq, the closest the two foes have come to war in decades.